All right, yesterday I did a, uh, a video on uh, this frequency counter, okay? Uh, everybody's selling it, okay? And it's a, a PLJ0802-C, okay? Here's the information as I'm gathering it. And uh, if you look on the back of this thing, you're going to see a chip that says 506 on it. And you're like, and you, and you can't get the schematic for this. But I'm going to tell you how you can basically help yourself out. Okay, now, what this company does is they make these units for different radio companies. All right. So uh, each model is based on the last model with some improvements. So what you're going to need in order to sort of understand this one is you're going to have to find the LED one. Uh, let me hold this down. Let me make sure it's in the frame. Okay, go get the uh, the the manual for a PLJ dash eight LED dash C. And what you'll find is they have the bottom schematics and uh, the 506 chip that's on the back of here and you can't find it anywhere, is really an MB506. It's a prescaler. And, and the schematic is on the PLJ-8LED-C, okay? And it shows where the two uh, trim pots are, uh, what they do, okay? Uh, how they control the level. And they control the level. Well, anyway, go look at the schematic. And uh, what the prescaler does, I'm back to the prescaler. Uh, say they sell a frequency counter that goes from 100 kilohertz to uh, 10 megahertz. So by putting a prescaler on it, it divides it out before it gets to the counter. So what happens is the frequency range of the unit goes from 100 kilohertz to 1 megahertz to 1.1 gigahertz or 1.5 gigahertz, okay? But you can't use it for uh, below one megahertz, okay? That's what they did. They added the MB506 to some of the models and it's a prescaler. Now you could, you could redesign this with switches so it could do 100 kilohertz all the way up to one gigahertz, but they didn't do that. They produced this a certain frequency range, uh, frequency counter modules. Okay, that's how they're selling them. And they're not looking to make everybody happy. They're looking to sell these things. And you go on eBay, and I told you the last thing, you buy this, and some of them come with the little connector for the, for the power supply and an input one. Uh, others don't, that's all that you get. And some vendors show just the front picture, the front of this, and the back of this. And I told you on the last one, uh, if you look at the... Uh, for the manual, PLJ0802C. Uh, that manual gives you more information about this module. And if you really want to understand the scaler and what those pots are for, then you got to go back in time to an older model, which would be the PLJ-8LED-C. And both the models are sold on eBay, and everybody's selling these things. And the manual's pretty poor. So in other words, you're in there, well, what do those pots do? Do I adjust them? What, what are they for? Well, if you understand circuits, I'm telling you, that's the trick. Uh, it's just like the remote control helicopter. Uh, I did a video on this one helicopter, and I went step by step as a beginner with that model. And I had these guys coming in, you know, uh, you know, those guys, okay? Uh, I keep deleting the messages. They're telling me everybody knows that every dealt. So that I put what how I figured out the the transmitter and the whole thing and flying it, and people were coming and thanking me because they couldn't figure it out. The the thing is, when you buy one of the first helicopters that came out years ago, you're moving along, and then the the uh, instructions for the uh, a, a model that's come down in price. It's missing a lot of things that a beginner would want to know how to set up the transmitters uh, trims. There's trims on there and they're electronic. They're, you don't move them mechanically anymore. So I figured that out and I'm like, boy, if I had trouble with this, 
someone else is going to have trouble. So I did a video and people were thanking me. Uh, one girl had a certain problem and I went in and figured out which trim was set wrong. I told her how to set it. I did a video. But there were people that just because they know, they think everybody else should know type of thing. I'm a person that stays with something. Now, it really aggravated me to own this module and not to really understand it. Okay? And I wasn't looking to hack it. Not yet, at least. But in other words, uh, I want to know when I'm turning one of those pots, is it on the output of this chip? Is it on the input of this chip? Okay? One of the, on the prescaler, one of the pots is before the prescaler, and one of them is after the prescaler. Okay? And it might help in some cases when I get to trying to do the, uh, the frequency counter on the regenerative radio. Okay? And I had, I had to have that information. It was bugging me. And I went looking, and I'm thinking, you know, let me go look. Well, first I couldn't find what this 506 chip was. That's because they didn't have the MB on the chip itself. You know, once you know, oh, yeah, it's a prescaler chip. Yeah, once you know it's a prescaler chip, then you can find it. You put in prescaler 506, and you'll probably find it that way. But that's the problem when you, you jump into something new. There's a learning curve. And... I know when I do a video, I try to do a video that nobody else has done before. And sometimes someone says, thanks, you did it for me, okay? And you do get thanked from people time to time. And uh, other people, I knew it was a prescaler. <laughs> didn't, you didn't help anybody, you know? Uh, I guarantee you, uh, I watched one website, uh, Tenity sold today. Uh, has a, 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 a clicker next to... Uh, what they sell. So the one website just from this morning till now sold 10 of these. So these things are being sold by the boatload and I guarantee you 95% of them never get electricity on them. Uh, maybe if they come with the battery um, clip hooked to it, uh, people will put a 9 volt battery on it and see it light up or come on. Yeah, it will light up. Mine doesn't light up because I disconnected. But that's it. That's as far as it's going to go. But if you're one of those people like me that actually want to use this you need both manuals, okay? And I didn't go any further back. I just wanted to understand what those two pots are for, other than the one that's for the frequency adjust. And the manual explains to you, basically, let the unit warm up. Yeah, I know, it's solid state. Let it warm up. There's a very um, uh, sense, not sensitive, a very accurate crystal oscillator module on the back of it. Uh, I probably can spot it from here. This thing right here. It's silver. It's it's not just a uh, crystal. It's a crystal oscillator unit, and I think it even has an oven in it. Uh, I have those. I bought a few of them. And what they do is after they warm up for a few seconds, they stay very accurate. Okay, and that's why you got a lot of guys on. Ah, I readjusted it. Ah, I re don't touch this thing until you you're ready to, you know, you're 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 ready to use it before you go in and touch that adjustment because they do explain it in the manual to let this thing warm up. And they also uh, mentioned this is aligned to a very accurate frequency generator before they, they ship it out. So these people that are going in and, ah, you got to readjust it. Uh, what are they readjusting it to? Their, their frequency counter or their frequency generator. Is that as accurate as the, the lab that makes these? I think not. I think that's it. All right, that's it.